welcome back to RC Icons. And in this video, another Bayi unboxing. There's no box. What do you mean there's no box? There's no box. It's because this is take two. My microphone screwed up. I went to edit the video. No sound. Is what it is. I was actually going to take the time to package all of it back up in bubble wrap and redo it. But then I was like, you're not a professional. What the hell are you thinking? So I've got the kits right here next to me. I'm going to bring the camera over and I'm just going to lift them up one at a time. And you guys can pretend that I took it out of a box and unwrapped it. Surprise! Look what I got. See you in a second. Oh, there's nothing like doing videos over twice. It's such a drag. Now I have to act like I'm surprised that I didn't know what it was. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Like three months ago, I did a video that went up for 24 hours on my 959 stuff. My Celica GRB. The, the video was to show the new unbox Celica GRB that I had brought in from Bayi. And then I had completed that family for my new unbox collection. I was super stoked about it. And I decided to bring out all the parts and kits that I had. So I had a new unbox 959 kit, a new unbox Celica GRB kit. I had my built Celica GRB. I had my built 959, which is battered. And then I had another 959 kit that I had bought from Martin years and years ago that's made up of all brand new old stock parts. So everything you need to build up a 959 short of an original body. Um, and I'll probably end up sourcing an original body at some point. Because I'd hate to build it. I'd hate to build it um, all brand new and then put a TBG body on it. And I'm going to pay a fortune for that damn body. I know I am. I've almost bought in a couple cents. And it's like stuff on Bayi where a 959 kit will come up. And it's the box and the decals and the body and the body parts. And some other miscellaneous screw bags. And it goes for $700. I'm like, what the hell? It's a body, decals, and a box, basically. Wheels and tires, I think. When you pay, break it down, you could probably sell it all. Again, at ridiculous prices, but that's 959 stuff um, for more. So, it is what it is. It's happened twice, and I haven't bought either one of them. And I refuse to buy a body kit for 500 bucks. Um, so, somehow, some way, the stars are going to align, and I'm going to get an original body. The part of that video, when I was showing all my 959 parts, those of you who saw it, it's not on the channel. I took it down after 24 hours because I missed a shipping label that had my address on it. So I deleted it off, gone. And I was talking about how I can probably build at least three, if not more, uh, 959s to do a giveaway with. So I plan on doing a 959 giveaway where I'm going to give away two, potentially three, restored or built 959s uh which is going to be absolutely epic um but that is going to take a ton of time to, to do because i need to build mine and then i need to build two or three more until essentially i'm i've used all of my parts um and i can't build a whole car with what i have left in that video i showed i don't know 13 maybe 10 new sets of 959 wheels and tires <laughs> I don't know why I'm still buying this crap, to be honest. And it's not that it's crap, but uh, brand new rally block, not the slicks. I, I paid 100 bucks for the two sets. So, I mean, I think that's a buy-e bargain, to be honest. I've never, I've bought a bunch of these in the past, and I've never, I've never gotten, bought them for 50 bucks a set. So, um... I threw a $100 bid at it and won it. So, yeah, I've got two more sets of 959 wheels and tires for when that day comes. I think I have enough brand new ones now, never mind the old ones that I have, to do four cars, um, which sounds crazy, but I, I do. I mean, it, that's just the reality of it. I have got a ton of them. Three kits. 
jeez. Uh, M05. M05. I built the Golf Group 2 car back in May. And I bought a Renault body. When I did that car, I was going to put the Renault body on the M05 chassis. Take the Golf Group 2 chassis, put it on the TA05 M4 chassis. And I was going to have a Renault and a Group 2. And I have an original Renault built. And the reason I bought the Renault body set was to go on the original car because that one's got a cut in the body on the top. So in the event that that didn't come out right when I painted it, I was going to use the other one. But the other one's got pre-cut holes in it that don't match up with the original body. So then it wasn't really making sense. Don't ask me why I did this. I have no clue. <laughs> but I bought another one. Um, I put a. I, I thought it was a low bid. I put a hundred and sixty-five dollar bid on a new box Renault Turbo Five, and won it. I mean, that's the bottom line. So. I, it's an RA. I don't know if it's really any different than the regular M05. I think it might just be the tires, to be completely honest. Uh, maybe a skid plate in the back. Maybe this is different. And that's cut out of the polycarbonate, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, I, I think that's all it is. I already have this body. And then this is the piece that it comes with. So it's like a motor cover maybe and a skid plate. <laughs> I don't think this is with my other body set. I think it only comes with the kit. And then it's got the rally tires that I had already bought in a set for uh, my other car. So, uh, yeah. Um, I, I don't know what I'll do with it. I have no clue. I might build it. I've got another M05. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet or not. New unbox kit. If you haven't seen it, you're going to see it. If you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But there's another one either coming or that's already here. So that makes three M05s now that I have. And one of them, I, I was going to hop up the, the first one I built. I've got tons and tons of hop-ups now for one chassis. So one of them is going to get built completely hopped up. I'm not sure which one. So yeah, I no clue why I bought that thing. Um, I just put a little bid on it and won it really. This one I'm super excited about. I have this car built and uh, I saw it come up new in box and I bought it. Um, now in my mind I have two, the two special Hornets. June Watanabe new in box kit. So I have this car built sitting just to my left right here. Um, some people hate this car. Uh, I love it just because at the time, not blockhead motors, June Watanabe, it it was really like the first time that Tamiya kind of worked with an outside designer. I say that Tom's, there's, there's, there's a bunch of cars... Tech, uh, tech Racing, they worked with. Tom's, they worked with. So they, they did work with outside designers. But this he's a clothing designer, right? So, I mean, it was kind of a special situation. Um, and then for them to go out on a limb and do something like this that's just totally off the wall, uh, I think was just very bold of them. Huge decal sheet. You've got your purple Hornet manual, um, completely reprinted in purple and with the, with the Hornet, um, with the livery, the June Watanabe livery, and then your new in-box kit presentation. Um, the only car I know of that came with two different color tires, so it came with the pink tires and the black tires, and it also came with two different color wheels. Um, like I said in the Supreme Hornet video... The black ones are just ridiculous. They only came on the Hornet Supreme and this, as far as I know. And then it came with the white ones as well, like the original wheels, Hornet wheels. So, yeah, two sets of wheels and tires. Um, I've never seen a June Watanabe with the white wheels and black tires, to be completely honest. I've never seen anyone build it like that. 
I may end up, I have two sets of the pink fronts, but I cannot find a set of the pink rears to save my life. Now my other, my built Wantanabe has pink. But there's another car, I don't know, I don't even think it would work. I think the tire size is different on the next car that I'm going to show you. Because the next car that I'm going to show you I think would look killer with pink tires on it. But I really want a set of pink tires, full set from my original Frog. Gavin did it on his, and I've always liked it. Um, and I, like I said, I've got two sets of fronts, but I don't, I can't find a set of rears. And there's some some jackass on eBay selling a full set of pink tires right now for 350 bucks, and I'm just like, whatever. Like I'm not going to give him the satisfaction and pay that so at some point maybe i'll find a set of pink rears i'm not sure um i'm this close like i'm halfway there i've got two sets of fronts i'll trade someone a set of fronts for a set of rears i'll buy the rears off them for a reasonable price but um i just can't make it happen it's been years i've been looking rookie rabbit Awesome, awesome, awesome. DT01. Uh, I believe it was the first DT01. And it came as essentially a ready to run. Um, styrofoam bottom. I love this thing. It's the only one I have. Only ready to run from Tammy and I have. Boom. The only other DT01 that I have is the uh, Mad Bull. So it's got your cover, clear cover, and it's got your CPR unit. It's a 60. Is this a 60? It might be a 60. I think it's a 60. I, I don't remember. G O N CPR, I P G O N. Get your crystal so you can change your crystal if you want. This thing is absolutely brand new. A couple little like scuffs on it, but not run hard. Definitely run, but not run hard. So yeah, I was thinking this car with pink tires would look killer, but they're the wrong size. And I love the DT01. Now this is obviously Pogo. If you're gonna run a DT01, put some oil shocks on it. Uh, my Mad Bull is I it's honestly I said it in my first collection videos one of the funnest cars I own um, no bull I've got all these cars hundreds of cars and one of my go-to cars just to put a smile on my face is the Tamiya Mad Bull absolutely love it and the gearbox will take a beating you can throw a hot motor in it and just rip that thing around and just put the biggest smile on your face Hard body, the decals, little bit of a wrinkle here, um, not horrible. For an original example, original, it's never been reread, but for an, a, uh, a shelf piece, I'll probably do some painting on the driver figure, but look at that thing. Absolutely love it. Uh, this was under a hundred bucks. Um, this was absolutely a Bayi bargain. Again, on Bayi, of course, all of this came from Bayi. But, uh, goes the other way. It's got the battery holder. Um, everything is here except the manual. There's no manual with it. I'm assuming it came with a manual, but there's no manual in this box. And then the radio, fine spec from back in the day with your antennae. Super super cool i have not checked it to see if it works i really don't care i bought it more as a display piece this may get displayed although the car is cool as hell built it'll probably get put together but i just think that that looks cool as hell too you know what i mean like that i think that that like on a shelf would be absolutely killer and then somehow like put the box up above it because I think the box art on the Rookie Rabbit is stellar. Um, super neat. Someone drew one in the front of the box like some kid took a pencil and made some swirly marks. Got a hole over here, a little hole. I do not care. 
Um, I just think the box art itself, yeah, tire, there's a rip there from a sticker or sales sticker or something. Super, super cool. It's just so old school, you know? Absolutely love it. So that's it. That's round two. Um, 1991, the Rookie Rabbit came out. And like I said, I think it was the first DTO one. I do. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. There's another DTO one that came out first. It's a 57 number because it's a ready to run. 57501. Uh, I think it's their first one. It's just. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, I could be totally wrong, but I don't think I am. Let me move the camera for a closing uh, again. Round two. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Me and my pink cars. It's all good. Pink's cool. I love them, to be honest. I love them both. Um, I've always liked the June Watanabe. Loved it. Uh, loved it. Purple chassis, white shocks. Just different. It's going to be cool to have the Hornet Supreme and the June Watanabe that I have built just kind of sitting side by side. Um, super, super neat. And then my original grasshopper that I'm going to be building. And I do have an original Hornet too downstairs. It's a runner. I may restore it though. Or just buy a Riri. It's the same damn thing. Um, I get hung up sometimes on having original. But if I'm going to have the, that one in the Supreme, I should probably have the original Hornet. Someday, Super Hornet. I do like the Super Hornet. Um, it's got the Grasshopper 2 body on it, I think. It, it looks like the, the Black Edition Grasshopper 2 body. The orange wheels do it for me. So, yeah, probably a Super Hornet as well. Um, we'll have a whole hopper cabinet. The Rookie Rabbit will probably be in there as well. I don't know if the Mad Bull will fit with the big fat tires on it, but some point i need to restore the mad bull i've got an original decal set for it and the body i'll just re i'll just rehab the body that's on it. it's not broken or anything now that it's discontinued it's probably going to go crazy i should probably buy another one new one box just to have around for a rainy day that's how you end up with hundreds of kits though i'll probably end up buying one <laughs> If you're not already a subscriber of the channel, I'd encourage you to su to consider subscribing to support us. That would be great. Uh, hit the all button. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Rookie Rabbit, uh, the June Watanabe. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Was it a mistake for Tamiya? Um, I think they're absurd money um, for what they are, but I've got two of them, so I'm obviously part of the problem because I'm paying stupid money for them. The kit wasn't bad, uh, to be honest. I paid more for the built car than I did for the kit. And the built car obviously was never run. But I've got that box as well. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. See you in the next one. Thanks.